Guys, welcome back. On tonight's episode, we're gonna step up the level of difficulty just a little bit. We're gonna be making spicy tuna over crispy rice. Trust me, you guys can all do it, so let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. All right, guys, what you're gonna need, very important. You're gonna have to go to an Asian supermarket of some sorts, or you're gonna have to order stuff online. What you're gonna need is we have some sushi rice. Next, you're gonna want sushi seasoning. If you can't find sushi seasoning, you can make it very easily. All you're gonna need is some rice wine vinegar and then a little bit of sugar. So say you do a cup of rice wine vinegar, you use half a cup of sugar. Very important, Japanese mayo. You're gonna need this. Right here, I have some beautiful sushi grade, tuna you can't just use any old fish you got to make sure you're getting sashimi or sushi grade first thing we have to do is we gotta get our rice rinsed very important to get all the starch rinsed out you want to rinse it until it goes completely clear as you work it look look at all that milkiness on top that's good that's all the starch coming out we got to drain that off we don't want any of that when we go to cook our rice none of that so keep repeating this process until that liquid runs completely clear our rice can go in i'm using the uh, pressure cooker to cook my rice it does a great job if you have a rice cooker use that and with a pressure cooker it's a one-to-one -one ratio of rice to water um, it varies between rice cookers so if you're using a different rice cooker just use whatever ratio they recommend while the rice is cooking we can go ahead and make our sauce all my bowls are dirty. It's very easy. It's that Japanese mayonnaise. It's some sriracha. It's a little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of sesame oil. Just a, like a haberdashery of it. Boom. Perfect. And then from there, we just mix and that's it. And then the last thing to do is just to get our tuna and to slice that up. But once you have it sliced, then you just want to go down the middle again and into little cubes. Now you can go as far as uh, a lot of the restaurants do cut it down into a, a paste. You can do that if you want. It's just more choppy and more mashy until it's in paste form. Right, we can go right into our sauce mixture and then just give that a nice toss, get everything coated. You can throw in uh, you can throw in a spring onion, which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge while our rice finishes cooking. Just cover this with a little plastic wrap, pop her in the fridge. Okay, rice is done cooking. Now this is very important. Ah! Fuck! While the rice is warm is when you want to season it. What the seasoning does, not only does it give it the rice flavor, but it also is what helps sushi rice stick together. For every two cups of rice, there's about five tablespoons of seasoning, just about. And now give that all a good mix. Grab a tray, get some plastic wrap in there. Get your rice into the center. Get into about an inch slab and just fold it over. All right, it might take a little bit of fiddling around, but once you get somewhat of a rectangle, you let it cool down. We're gonna get some oil already. This is gonna be a shallow fry. You don't need a ton of oil. So I'm just gonna go a little bit of vegetable oil. We're gonna do about a quarter inch, maybe that's it. Okay, once your rice has completely cooled, and I mean completely, like it's not warm anymore, we can move on to the next step. If it's fall all apart, something's afoot, something ain't right. You should have a nice block like this. Mine's not perfectly symmetrical, but it'll work. And now you just cut into your pieces. That'll work. Now we can go ahead and fry these off about three minutes on each side or until each side is nice and golden brown. Give it a flip. Don't rush it though. See like, see how that's not all the way done? Let it go. Let it have, take its time to get perfectly golden brown because you flip too early, you're not gonna get that crisp. That's the whole point of this dish is to have that crunch. Look at those though. Beautiful color. That's exactly what you're looking for. We can take them off and put them on a wire rack just to drain off any excess oil and to get really crisp. We're almost there. Home stretch. Let those cool just for a couple seconds. I have some wasabi here. I'm gonna do a little drop of wasabi under each piece. This is optional. It's strong too, so you only need a little bit, just a pea size. Just go on, spoon that tuna right on top. It's a huge roll. Yeah, that's a big gander. That's my piece. You don't get any of that crap. Beautiful. Still got some tuna left. I don't want that to go to waste. Rob, you want a snack? Now, some sesame seed. And then finally, our jalapeno. And there you go, guys. Woo, look at that. You make this, I tell you what, you know, spin some heads. And guys, that is how you make spicy tuna on crispy rice. There's not much more to say, but to try one of these out. So let's go in for a bite. Cheers. Mm. Wow, incredible. You make this at home, you're gonna impress somebody. It's grandma's birthday, impressed. By the way, we have to send Gigi shit, yeah, yeah. fuck. And guys, that's gonna do it for tonight's episode. That is a spicy tuna on crispy rice. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Donnie, peace. Come here, boys. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah.